He is emerging as one of England's most inspirational managers, leading the national team to places it's not been for decades. His best friend, Andy Woodman, is not surprised by the success. The pair still speak daily. They first met age 15 as apprentices at Crystal Palace and were best man at each other's weddings. And even back then, Gareth Southgate had an intellectual approach to the game. I've gone around Europe and around the world watching how teams develop and evolve and how other sports work together. And, so he's taken a very academic approach to it. Unbelievably academic. People have no idea of the, the, the sort of hard yards Gareth put in to study, to study learn, and, and that's, that's Gareth. Those closest to him also say that having played at the highest level himself, he knows what's gone wrong in the past. He was always a sensible one in that 96 squad, but that wasn't hard, if I'm honest. Put it this way, he wasn't in a dentist chair. He was one of the players that, was, that stayed behind and, and was pretty sensible. I think that's why he's done so well with his squad. Thank you, miss. The pressure of failure and national humiliation, the missed penalty at 96, which saw him poke fun at himself in this advert for pizza, have also given him a level of empathy that many managers have not developed. Ooh, this time he's at the post. That humility is something people in the town of Harrogate, near where he lives, recognise clearly. Just a lovely feeling knowing that, you know, it's something so close to home and everyone's so proud to be English and being playing for, the, for, for their team. I think shops down there for all his closed, so they say. They have a little poster in the window saying, Gareth's shop's here. He does come into Betty's and has a fat rascal. Sports psychologists say being able to connect with people has given Gareth Southgate a massive edge in moulding a national team that's often been riven by rivalries and fear. Over the last 15 years I've known him, trust understanding and building relationships. That's what he's, as we're seeing, brilliant at. He's very good at football and he's a ruthless, ruthless competitor. But in terms of building trust, understanding people and building relationships, that's why I think he's such a brilliant leader. There's no doubting Southgate still has an enormous challenge ahead. He's not won anything yet. But how he's evolved from player to manager will hopefully give England everything they need to bring football home. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Bromley.